Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another hashtag Thrifty Thursday. Uh, this is an open collaboration that's hosted by Cherie at Turquoise Dreaming. So I'll leave her link down below and you can go and check out all the other Thrifty Thursdays. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing I've got here is a, um, a Duna cover. And this did cost me $7, but it's a lot of eyelet material on this. Uh, there's a, a frill around it that could be taken apart. There's this little pink ribbon that goes through it, but there is a lot of material here. Some of it is stained, but I'll probably um, dye some of this um, fabric. I won't open it all up, but... Um, it's a double um, size bed dinner cover. So I just thought that was worth getting for all that material. I probably won't use it all. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all, but um, I'll definitely use some of it and I'll be dyeing some of it. All right, so I'll get that off my desk and back into the ironing basket. These have been washed, but they haven't been ironed yet. So you'll see a lot of creases in this lot that I've got here. Um, the next thing, and they were from a, a, oh, which store was it? An Anglican church op shop. Um, all these here were 50 cents each. So this is a little table runner with this little, um, cutout work on here. And, um, this fabric could be used as well. So, seeing as it was 50 cents, I picked it up. I thought that was a nice image on there. And then um, I got three of these, I say they were serviettes, uh, with a little floral on the corners of them. And I have three of them here. Some staining on them, but don't mind that. I'd say they were cotton. And then there was this one here with the butterfly on, another. I'd say serviette piece um, with a butterfly on it. This is a pillowcase and it just really, um, I don't know, there's something about the colour and everything that I was drawn to and um, this is quite a nice cotton and a nice little different pieces in there but I don't know, I just see that as a I could see that as a journal cover. It's just lovely. And I could see myself um, embroidering, doing some slow stitching around it as well. So that was that. I think this one was um, a dollar. So uh, that one I think was a little child's dress. And um, it's so cute, and I, yeah, it's got some, I know I had some staining on there somewhere, but I like the gingham, so definitely this will go into my box where I'm collecting things for a denim type journal, and I thought some of these, oops, some of these elements would look nice in there as well. Um, obviously the tyres would work well, and I love this smocking that's on there. Hopefully you can see that, it's quite pretty. Bought at Salvos and on orange tagged items, they had 50% uh, off. So I only got orange tag clothing and this is a, a shirt dress. It's quite big, as you can see. So lots of material on there. I'll take the buttons off and um, even the pockets are nice. But basically just chambray. And uh, that'll be good, you know, a piece even in a slow stitch journal. For slow stitching on, it's a good background colour. But that's uh, the shirt dress. Uh, pick this up. Um, it's a pillowcase, so 
It's showing up quite glary, isn't it? <laughs> because of all the diamantes on it. It's just starting to get dark here. I'll just turn it over a bit so you can see the detail in it a bit better. But yeah, um, it's got these elephants on it. Oh. And lots of sparklies and little pieces. So I'm not sure whether I'll cut all this into pieces and just use these or I don't know. I'm not sure about it. I suppose cut down and might oh, I'm out of screen again. I'm using my uh, phone to record today so hopefully my voice is loud enough because I have recorded a couple of videos on my laptop and I'm having trouble editing them and then when I edit finally got to edit it I realized there was a lot of uh, breaking up of my voice and stuff like that so I'm, at the moment I'm trying to work out how to take all the sound out and just do a voiceover but um, hopefully I could save those two videos that I've done but yeah I don't know, it could be a journal cover a certain amount but yeah I just like the material so um, yeah that'll just get cut up obviously a cushion cover but I like that with all the embroidery work on it so I'm gonna give you another close-up of that so that was nice uh, a top here it's just a Miller's top and um, some of this will go in my blue basically blue journal but it'll be you know denims and that sort of color but I thought some of this would look nice in there so I basically got it for the top yeah, I probably wouldn't use the rest of it the t-shirty part of it and there was a little spider on there but I won't worry about him he's not doing any harm so there was uh, this table runner so it had some crochet work in there crochet edging around there and this ribbon embroidery So it was a set with these and um, quite pretty, yeah, a nice piece. But then uh, I don't know, I could see that on a front cover as well somehow. It'd be interesting to see how I can cut this out and keep it as a piece. But anyway, we'll work that out. Um, like it got there, that doesn't... And these were the pillowcases. Not quite fitting in the screen, but yeah, they're pillowcases basically. Zip. And it's got the uh, cotton on the back, so that'll be useful to use. And the crochet bits. And again, the. ribbon embroidery so this one's a better shaped one to be able to be used in a journal so that'll be a nice piece to cut out and yeah these will need to be ironed and I'll probably cut these down to the squares but there's three of those no two of those two of those yep two of those and the table runner So I actually think these were four dollars each, but yeah, I think the um, op shops are getting a bit expensive nowadays. But um, yeah, they're probably worth it as a uh, cushion cover because it cushion covers to buy in sh shops aren't cheap either. So there's those two. Then there was uh, this top. This was from the Salvos. Um, this was uh, an orange tag and basically I got this for the 
the top piece with all the yeah, uh, sequence and I don't think it's beading work, I just think it's uh, sparkly kind of like a chain stitch on it, yeah, chain stitch. So I thought that was pretty. Um, yeah, I'll probably use this, uh, oh, not sure what to call it, but it'll be. It is a polyester, but that that's usable too, and probably the string too would be useful. Um, this one was nine dollars, but it, I got it for four dollars fifty. Which, yeah, I don't know, but I really like the um, this piece here. So it's definitely going to use that. All right, um, then there was this little, I guess, little table mat that was sitting in a tub on its own. I think I paid, I think I paid a dollar for it. But yeah, there's all these little flowers on there. So I'll probably cut them up into individual pieces. Okay, then, um, I've got a couple of scarves. I've had one like this before, but um, I like the cheesecloth-y type material. So, um, I think the scarves were $2 each. But yeah, quite a bit there. And they'll be good for just using pieces and clusters and stuff like that. One, go back in the ironing basket and and this one try and stay in screen with all this flowers on it yeah. it's got some pulled bits on it but yeah I'll probably rip this into strips anyway that scarf there. It's very pretty. I like the colours on it. So, yeah. Yep, good for two dollars. All right, we need to get in there. Um, okay, the laces, which was going back to the Anglican op shop. So, I was trying to work out the docker how this worked, but I think all up. Um, all these bits cost added up to well I added up to I think it was about sixteen dollars. Um, so these were in a this was in a bag, and I've taken the bags off so we could didn't have to hear all the crinkling and stuff because you know how they do it. But it's obviously just I'd say a top or something that was cut up. So that's what I think it's from. So they're just all bits. So I can put it down here. So they're all pieces like that. And they're all uh, kind of leaf shapes on there. So there's quite a bit there, even though it's all in bits. <laughs> but that's how I pulled it out of the bag. So there's that. There was um, this bit of lace with the eyelet through it and it's got a, um, I guess, a peachy colour in it, so not that much in there but enough to use down a page or something. So I feel like I've just a bit out of screen let me move that up a bit try and not make it dizzy then there was a yellow piece this feels like it's got hard bits on it so I'm definitely gonna be it was like it used to be glued on something but um, I can cut that piece off and just use this so that's a longer piece actually so there's as you can see there's quite a piece there 
and then there was these so there's this purple trim um, I don't know how much is left on there but yeah and then there was this trim pinky one and there's quite a bit on there so I'm um, definitely going to put a couple of pieces of that in a happy mail there was just this little piece of white with some flowers on it uh, there was this one here and um, Not sure about the trim, but I actually like the, the the tag that was in it, <laughs> so which helped me buy it. But yeah, it could still be used. It's still pretty enough to go on a package or in a bit of a cluster. And there's quite a bit on there, but I'll definitely use this as well. Uh, there was some blue eyelet. Uh, like the pink one, there was. Blue. and there's really quite a bit on there you know um, I'll probably put a piece of this in my denim journal and um, it's all come out hard, but there's quite a bit there but that's the right color for that journal and then there was purple so quite a bit there huge amount there all right so that was them then there was uh, these are back into the Anglican shop top shop just move this lace out of the way now um, so there was some Asian themed things so there was these little coasters uh, there was lots more of these but I just got three I don't know why three but three and I'm not sure why they put an odd piece there but yeah, who knows. But there was three of those. So I got two packets of these. There was heaps of them there as well. Little kimono girls, little things. And I thought they'd be nice to be sticking in pockets and stuff. And for sending out. It's a nice piece of paper in the background too. But yeah, these look like they came from Dezo shop, but they were at the op shop. But yeah, so they'll be nice just tucked in to a pocket. Very cute. So two packets of them, and then the, these, this was in a bag by itself, but it was 50 cents, I wasn't sure what it was. I was hoping they were flat, but they're not. They're obviously little bowls, little flower bowls. So I'm not sure what I'd do with them. So, yeah, I mean, you could put paper clips or something in there, but I also thought I could take the stitching out and then make them flat too. But yeah, not sure about them, but. Yep, I just chucked it in my basket and hope that they were flat. Now the books. All right, let's get this done. <coughs> now, I found another, I do have a Pitman there, Pitman 2000. I think I've told you before that um, I used to, I, can't, I couldn't remember how to do it now. I look at it and I'm thinking, oh, that looks so weird. How did I manage to write like that? But I was quite proficient. Um, Pittman 2000 shorthand writer and I did use it in my first job I used to um, the boss used to dictate to me and I would take it all down in shorthand someone's obviously used this one with highlights and stuff but um, on the whole it's still pretty much intact so I make good journaling pages. 
you know, backgrounds and stuff. So there's that one. This yeah. book, and I said, yeah, put it in. So this one is Garden Mania. Uh, Philip DeBay and James Bolton Potter. And it's in this little box here. So it's got little garden elements on it. And it's a, um, the Art of Gardener's Compendium of Design and Decorating. I can't even remember why I got it. So this was over a week ago. Um, well, oh, maybe nearly two weeks ago that I did this op shopping. But yeah, I can see that I've taken it because of the pictures and the graphics in there. That's pretty cool. see why I brought it home. It's got some really nice pictures in here. I like the pink pages because that could be used as a background, you know purple one's nice too. Background on a, a journaling card. Yes, I can see why I picked this one up now. Like I said, I don't remember all this. Definitely lots in here to use. It's pretty much full of them. Even that's cool. So it looks like uh, Victorian times, maybe, or maybe a bit older. Um, pictures of what gardens were like and the, and the equipment and stuff. Hmm. Yes, I do like it. I really like that page too. It's cool. That's very, very pretty, very subtle. Yes, definitely like this one. <laughs> so that one's Garden Mania. Oh, I didn't find out what year. I don't think it's that old. It doesn't feel very old. Uh, Clarks and Potter Publishers, New York. Um, no, it's not that old. 2000. Anyway, that was that one. In the box. Um, then there was this one. Decorative frames and labels. Uh, pictorial archive. And this is copy free, copyright free designs and edited by Carol, Carol, Carol Bellinger Grafton. And it's a Dover Publications. But yeah, I think I've had a book like this before that I've got on my shelf, but they're all just um, the designs. So if I didn't want to cut them out of this thing, I could photocopy these ones because the Dover ones are copyright free images. But yeah, nice shallowing. Yep, 
I'm finding some things and then um, Anita Colby's beauty book this uh, new revised edition Prentice Hall um, it's quite a nice cover actually a bit dirty and grotty it needs a good clean and um, something's been spilt on it I just hope that's not blood <laughs> Hmm. Um, so yeah, the date is copyright 1952 and this then it says 1958 so we'll go with 1958 and it was printed in the United States of America. So it's an older book. Um, I mean, just all those blank pages are cool. Definitely these will be used as a page and a thing, but yeah. Let's make a star out of you. <laughs> it takes willpower. Discover your special talent. I'm not sure what the book's quite about, but food for beauty. interesting colouring of the pages, this kind of subtle pink. Um, I hope my voice is picking up on this. I know the laptop picks it up better, but yeah, I didn't want to go through that drama. Oh, she, the person who had this book actually wrote down her height and her sizing. <laughs> she was five foot five. She was taller than me still. <clears throat> I'm only five foot three and a bit. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Interesting. I'll have to um, read a few. Be a good hostess, be a good guest. Be a good girl. <laughs> uh, your 14 day reducing diet. <laughs> oh dear. A beauty book so now this wasn't five dollars because this is when I asked uh, are the prices on the book because some of the books haven't got prices and she goes no that's from somewhere else and these I remember that these were the um, six for ten dollars so the pages uh, it's called the pages and Murray Bow it's a nice little dust jacket on it but I actually got this because of the cover just think it's an awesome cover just looks like a piece of wood so I have no idea what the book's about uh, oh hey it's an Australian one because it says on our family sheep station in Western New South Wales <laughs> so yeah nothing I'm just trying to see where the the date is so it's 2008 it's not very old um, so it's just all writing there's some staining on the pages already I, I'm not sure why being such a, a newer book but um, it's got the rough cut edges too which is nice but I really got this for the cover and I remember that's why I, um, Gary went up and says, is that the price on the front? Um, because I'm thinking I won't pay $5 for it because I only want the cover. Um, obviously, I'll use the pages as well, but I was only interested in the cover. And that's when she said, no, there's six for $10. The books are $2 each. So that's why I got that one. Um, and then these were from there too, and these were 50 cents each, the magazines. So it's very rare that I find Vogue's and Marie Claire's in op shops anymore. For some reason, I just don't have the magazines. And I do like these when I'm collaging. Although I've got quite a few on my shelf, but yeah, I didn't want to pass them up. So I picked these up. I didn't look at them there to see whether there was stuff in there that I would actually use. But 
usually I find a few things out of the Vogue's for when I'm doing collaging. So that's that one. And there was uh, this one. This one's a, th a thicker one, so I think um, this was September 2010, yeah. And that was 2017. So this is a lot thicker one, but it was still 50 cents. And then there was Marie Claire. I'm trying to go, I didn't even look up to see whether I was in the screen then. And um, Marie Claire's not usually that th thick either. So this was 2011. I think the magazines in the shops are getting thinner. But um, yeah, you can usually get good images out of this one too. couldn't leave them there these there because like I said op shops just don't seem to do the um well that's from Bacchus Marsh but it wasn't from the Bacchus Marsh one. Um yeah they just don't seem to have the magazines there. They'll have the craft magazines and those types of things but not these types of magazines anymore. But yeah so that was just a quick glimpse in them. And then there was this one, which is just a, uh, you know, they're one of those ones from a plant company that they send out that was sitting there. So, and how much the orchids are, which are quite expensive actually. <laughs> like this one must be a, an unusual one because it's $75. But I just thought the images were a good size for cutting out. I'll probably use one of my punches to cut the ones I want out of here, but it's quite full of it. Um, I like this page here too, so I'll definitely keep that, the order sheet. But yeah, they're just all orchids. So I threw that in my basket as well. Um, uh, I, this one was from the Salvos. So another Regis Digest. I think I've got something like this at home. This one's $5. It's a lot of pages. But um, I like that this one was landscape. And this one's 1984 repair manual. So it's just, I'm, I'm sure you have seen these before, but just like all these, and these are, um, make good pages. And the, reason I like this one because they're normally the rectangle up the other way is that these are going to be easy to fold over the pages so and there's a lot of pages in there oh I like that one typewriter see that one will definitely be used kind of weird because um, obviously uh, being a secretary in my past, my past life, <laughs> my past life, um, back in my working days, um, I started on a typewriter and, um, and I always remember at home I had this blue one and I really do wish I still had it now. But I wasn't into this thing stuff back then. That's good too, the photo, the photography one on how to fix things. But yeah. Oh, jewelry glass. Jewelry and necklaces. How to fix cigarette lighters. Oh god. Uh Oh, book covers. Ooh, this is, this is, I might have to have a better look at this book. Books. How cool was that? Uh, 
I mean, it would just be interesting to have that in a, a journal that you've made. Repair in a broken hinge. Right, now we're to camping. Picture frames. This one is a, bit, is a lot different from the other one I've had. So but I, just, I just like the graphics in them and it'll be very useful. Revised and updated. Did I say what year it was? I can't remember now. 1984, I think I did. Um, I only got one little golden book and it's quite new. And I'm pretty sure I've already got this one. And it was $2. And they had a heap of them of home for bunny there new ones so you could tell it's new because of the school but it's got such this story's got such cute pictures in it i couldn't resist getting another one but they are gorgeous the illustrations in this particular book is lovely so that's why i got that one and then the last book is botanicals Colour your way, find mindfulness through nature's beautiful. So it's just a colouring book, uh, but because they're all botanicals, they'll make great journal pages. There is some colouring in, in it, but yeah, these just folded over, and uh, the quality of the paper in this one is really good. It's excellent, actually. But yeah, but every page is just um, botanicals. There is some of the black ones but on the whole and um, the gum nuts so these are just awesome they look like Australian wildflowers actually yeah kangaroo paw hmm. bottle brush just love it like this one's been cut, started colouring in. Wattle. Yeah, definitely an Australian one. Another page that was coloured in. But there's still a lot of pages in there that I, I would definitely use as pages in a journal. So, so and these are actually um, sewn in. So I'll be taking this apart by taking the signatures out so that these pictures can be used up the right way. But, um, and this one's been coloured in, but it's coloured in quite nicely, actually. <laughs> so I'd probably still use that one. But uh, being sewn in signatures, I'll definitely um, yeah, I wanted to see if they had anything else written about this book. Because I'll definitely, yeah, showcasing the unique flora of Australia, as seen through the aisles of textile designer and illustrator Edith Rewa. So yeah, anyway, that's my thrifty haul and um, yeah, hopefully I can still rescue those two videos I was hoping to get up last week um, and it was something I'd done in my, a couple of my journals so it's not like I could redo it because the pages are already done so it's, I really want to try and salvage it in some way before I move on with those journals to do other pages but we'll see how we go but I'll try and get I'll definitely get, be able to get this one up because it's on my old trusty phone um I'll get it edited and hopefully up tonight and um hope everyone's been well and thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one and don't forget to check out the link below to check out everyone else's thrifty Thursday hauls thank you bye